A while ago we did the best breakfast in Belito series and we really feel that this restaurant needs to be added to that list. So welcome to the Grand Exotic. The Grand Exotic is not quite in Belito, it's about 7 kilometers to the north in Salt Rock. So I checked this place out on TripAdvisor and because it's relatively new, it doesn't have that many reviews. The reviews are quite mixed but we have been here before and we really, really love it. This place is so, so beautiful. There's an outside area and most people are sitting there. We hardly sat down and we already ordered cappuccinos. Gotta take a sip. That's good. I just have to show you this cute little spoon. It's all about the detail in this place. The menu is really, really interesting. If you're looking for just a plain bacon and eggs, don't come here. But if you're looking for an adventure and some interesting food, then this is the menu for you. They have breakfast frittata muffins. It's a hungry Welshman. Craig took that the last time and it looked delicious. And the best part is the prices are really reasonable. I normally don't do bathroom swims when we go to restaurants, but I just have to show you this one. Just look at this. I went with the frittata and it's got salmon on top and creme fraiche. I'm so excited to try this, but I have to show you these cute little plates. They're all different. It's just so cute. I love it. So I went with the chicken sandwich. It's not very exotic, but I felt like this. It looks good. Nice salad with a bit of salad dressing. Check it out. Yes. I'm excited because I'm hungry. Let's eat. So I ate my salad pretty quick because I was hungry. So now I'm having the sandwich, smoked chicken, mayonnaise, and the bread looks amazing. So the bread is like sweet, which is really good with the chicken and the herbs and the mayo. It's really, really nice. Yeah, very good. The frittata tastes a little bit like a quiche. But the salmon and the creme fraiche on top of it, it makes for a perfect combination. It's really tasty. I'm gonna eat one. <laughs> oh, what is that? Pick. Oh, yum. We had our lovely breakfast inside. We're gonna go sit outside now and have cake. beautiful setting to have coffee and cheesecake then here in the outside area of the Grand Exotic. I opted for a smaller breakfast so that I can have cheesecake as well. This whole thing was planned. <laughs> it's thick and creamy and there's caramel on top. It's delicious but I'm glad we're gonna share this. I think the crust is made of gingerbread biscuits. 
I say it's ginger and it, it goes really well together. That was amazing. Even if you don't come here for the food, the whole experience is its just awesome. It's definitely a place that makes an amazing backdrop for a video or a photo. Our top five things to keep in mind before you come to the Grand Exotic is that number one, it is probably the most Instagrammable restaurant that you're gonna find in this area. Around every corner there's something colorful and Lots of antiques around, which brings us to the second point. Regrettably, they do not allow children under 14 here, but it's understandable because they don't want people to break their beautiful ornaments and their old antiques. The third thing is there's plenty of parking, which leads into the fourth one. There's also a function venue here. There's actually a wedding going on today. We just saw the setup inside. It's beautiful. I want to have a function here one day. And then the fifth and final tip we have is that it gets pretty hot inside but there is a beautiful outside section and they do have fans inside to keep you cool. So just make sure you grab a table close to a fan if you're anything like me I get really hot very quickly. <laughs> we made a top things to do in salt rock video a few months ago but we didn't include this place. If you're ever in this area you have to come and visit the Grand Exotic. And even though I had a simple toaster sandwich, the bread was amazing. So they put something exotic into every aspect of, I think, their food and their drinks, which is pretty damn cool. Yeah, I think there's an exotic element in everything they do. All the tables are different, all the chairs are different, the cutlery, the plates, everything is unique. It's just so cool. If you're local and you have visitors from out of town, I would bring them here. I know Salt Rock and Belisa is all about the beach, but sometimes you just need something different. And also on a rainy day, this would be the perfect spot. And it's a good spot for brunch. Ooh. To come and have a brunch here. Yes. We literally had a brunch because, I mean, it's already it's after quarter lunch. past one. <laughs> I call it more of a lunch, but it's fine. If there are any other spots in Belize or Salt Rock that you think we should go and try out, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, go. We... Okay, wait. What else? <laughs> the third thing is... Walking. There are trucks and noises. I've seen this truck. The wedding venue. It interrupted us earlier too. It really interrupted our vlogging. <laughs> so it's all about that. Okay. It's good. <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs>